Hey guys, welcome back to <coughs> Applesauce Podcast. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to episode 21 of the Applesauce Podcast, the only gaming podcast where we say right off the bat, fuck the alt right. Fuck them. Fuck anyone who associates themselves with Gamergate. Fuck them. And, of course, it's still fuck China, free Hong Kong, baby. Yeah, yeah. Free Hong Kong. My name is Broadway Vic, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Lightman. What is going on, bro? And I I feel like a lot's been going on. Yes. Well, what do you mean a lot's been going on? Like, a lot to us or in general? I mean, with, with us, man, you already know. Listen, in case you guys don't know, okay, mm-hmm. we kicked off our month of Movember. Yes. Uh, our corporate overlords. <laughs> corporate overlords. Send email, yeah. So they send us an email saying that we got to... We we gotta play some uh, some strange games and it started this past Sunday, right? Yes. With uh, Summer Sweetheart, yes. which was a uh, one wild, hell of a ride, wild event for sure. That's listen, I didn't know that's where the game was gonna go. Uh-huh. I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad we we started playing the game. All right, but we'll talk about that more later. Mm-hmm. And yeah, man. That's, that's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about Movember, and uh, we got to play all these cute oh, yeah, Hawaii yeah, games, yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be some surprises there. Right. You also you also released a little short, a little short promoting to promote the video. Movember, and promoting actually the event. your I guess reaction to getting the email. Yeah, which I was not too enthusiastic about, as you can tell from the video. As you can tell from the video, if you I'm haven't not, seen it, it's like. And I'm not gonna lie, dude. Instagram, the the numbers are are way higher than normal <laughs> for this. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting good amount of views for the uh, announcement video, and we're getting a couple of good likes on the overall theme of the month. And I feel like our corporate overloads, o- overlords, I can't say that word, mm-hmm. overlords, mm-hmm. are happy. Might be onto something, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I guess they look. Let's I guess they you, know better. Right. If you guys took the time to actually read the email, because mm-hmm. it's on the video, mm-hmm. yeah. Apparently, the focus study was like, we want Movember. And God damn it, we're going to have to give it to him whether we want to or not. And it's funny, at least. We get some jokes out of it. It's at least fun. Yes. Okay? Not creepy. It's fun. Okay? Uh, it's, uh, you know? <laughs> no, I'm saying, listen, we're not creeps for playing the games, all right? We're, oh, we're yeah. having fun with it, baby. Oh, yeah, we are. We're bringing some good energy to this. <laughs> Otherwise, we're Trying to keep event. it positive, right? <laughs> but yes, November 2019. Guys, check out the first stream. We're also going to be streaming at least twice a week to celebrate the month of November. Yes, a minimum of twice a week. A minimum of twice a week. And um, you want to get into some news because uh, some things happened this week, bro. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. Let's get right into it. So, you know, we got we to gotta get right into it, bro. The news of the week. Everybody's been talking about it. All right. And we have to speak about it, too, because that's just the zeitgeist that we're in. Okay. Sony has confirmed that the PlayStation 4 is the second best-selling console of all time. Of all time, bro. Behind the PlayStation 2? Behind the PlayStation 2. Sony fans are eating, baby. All right. Well, I figured I want I want to fit this to the new cycle because I think we're always talking about how, you know, good Nintendo's doing and whatever. But let, and, and just to, uh, to mooch off Cody Johnson, shout out to him, by the way. <laughs> to be fair and balanced, right? We trademark copyrighted. <laughs> trademark and copyrighted by Cody Johnson and uh those people over there, right? We we gotta we gotta keep balance, right? Sony has some good news, we might as well celebrate it. When PlayStation does well, it's good for the culture, man. It's good for the culture. Is it? It definitely is. Because Death Stranding has come out, bro. Mm-hmm. To uh man, listen, it's it was like lukewarm. Luke lukewarm reviews. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. I was gonna say like Mediocre, but I guess that'd be too. That'd be misleading, right? All right, cool. I, but, I actually didn't want to talk about this. Right, Death Stranding has come out. Listen, it's one. It's been one of the most hypest game of the generations. Yes. At least this is one of the most hyped games that I've seen in a really long time, bro. Yes. It has everything going for it. Kojima, oh. backed by Sony. I'm, honestly, I still don't get why people really like Kojima. Hmm. I mean, we we did have like an episode where we dedicated like what twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. About how Kojima's so far up his own ass. Yes, I mean he is. Oh, definitely. That like, doesn't mean you can tell from this man, game. That from he this is. game, yeah, dude. Listen, I haven't played it. I've mm-hmm. read a bunch of reviews. I've seen some clips on the internet. I'm shocked. 
I'm flabbergasted at the shit that's come out of this game. Let me get this out of the way. There's tripping in the game, and that's fucking bullshit. Listen, I, I, I know people who are klutz. What, klutz? Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Already in real life. I don't want to see shit like that in my video game. I don't... That's unneeded pressure, right? <laughs> and second of all, apparently, people have to understand that, yes, there are creatives out there, right? Mm-hmm. Who, who, who are super creative. Mm-hmm. Kojima, listen, you might hate the guy. But the man has the man has a brain, okay? Mm-hmm. He's creative as hell. But games like this uh, uh, exemplify and show exactly why creativity. editors are needed. Yeah, there you go. That, why why people why you need somebody to rein in that like creativity. A Kojima, because you can't let somebody like Kojima run wild. Because then you get something like this. Also, right? What I want to say right now, because mm-hmm. you brought up the tripping, yeah, is I'm. Actually, now I'm going to go look back. I'm going to go back in time and see who complained about tripping it in Smash Bros. Oh, that's a different thing. No. That's a completely different thing. thing. No, No, it's it's not. not. No, there's different context for the tripping. Listen, one's a fighting game Mm -hmm. and the other one's an adventure game. Yes, but you're... It's both bullshit, by the way. No, yeah, I I know. But but I want to see see the double standards that there is for for Kojima. Because the cult of personality that has been built on Kojima is crazy. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, and he does not deserve that. He also doesn't deserve the defending. And some of these stupid ass reviews, they gave it like a nine plus and say shit like after, after twelve, fifteen hours, it gets good. Then the game starts picking up. No, yo, people gotta work. I'm, if I gotta put in ten <laughs> to twelve hours, <laughs> yeah. big ass mood, bro. Right? Yes, people have to fucking work. All right. If I gotta put in ten to twelve hours to finally get to the good part, yo, your game's going out I don't that window. Play it. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Busy lives, bro. New York City. I, I, I don't have time to dedicate 15 hours into a game that I may end up liking. Right. right? Like, all right, hold up. Like, um, a job right now, right? Your, mm-hmm. your job. Right? Let's mm-hmm. go. Let's go with you right now, right? Yeah. Your job is what from like nine in the morning to seven p.m. Yeah. Right. And you still got like a two hour commute. Mm-hmm. Right. When the hell are you gonna play this? When are you gonna get through this ten hours? <laughs> in the spam of not even a week, because right. you still gotta go home and eat. Right. Right. Shower. Mm-hmm. Obviously, get some sleep. Mm-hmm. Maybe go hit the gym a bit. Mm-hmm. Right. So when in that time are you gonna be like, let me dedicate this very little amount of time that I have to myself to try and get through the most boring and tedious part? Bro, and I, listen, mm-hmm. and it's just oh, it's not it's not just boring and tedious for this game. Mm-hmm. It's considered boring and tedious ever for a video game. Yeah. It's weird dude you know i saw that he was a courier mm-hmm. the game the guy the main character what's his name oh uh, um something bridges bridges sam bridges is only that? yeah sam bridges america <laughs> but, wait, <it's> such a... <laughs> but either way either way um bridges right this mm-hmm. guy's a courier and i thought kojim was gonna have some fun with this concept like oh you know what he's gonna be a courier he's gonna be doing some sick shit right he's gonna be dropping off guns and mm-hmm. and interesting things but apparently you, you're just a courier. You're yeah. just delivering packages to mm-hmm. another place. And one of the dumbest things that I've read about this game, bro, is the fact that you could fail a mission if a package takes too much damage, and now you gotta lose lose your 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 time mm-hmm. having to traverse this world again. And I've seen the I've seen the clips. It, it's not about bro. You haven't played the game, so mm-hmm. you don't really know. Like yo, I've seen the clips. The guy showed us the process of fast traveling. That's not fast traveling. If I gotta spend ten <clears throat> minutes and, and three cutscenes, cut yeah. or four, three, four cutscenes, right? Just to finally fast travel. Why? This is what I'm talking about. He doesn't need to do that. He doesn't. And it just goes back to to my original point where listen, man, you 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 need somebody to rope him in. Mm-hmm. You. And some people, I've even heard some people online saying, "I know, I understand why." What where was he? Konami? Yeah. No. Uh, wait. Like the company he left? Yeah. Yeah, Konami. Wait. Like I understand why Konami did what they did to him. It's like, well, I mean, that's still fucked up that they kind of just like kicked him out. Like, thank you for your years of service. Now go fuck yourself, right? But he was complaining. I mean, yeah, right. It's, it was always gonna be whatever. It's creatives and and businessmen. That shit goes back all the way to like the fucking eighteen hundreds. Right? Yeah. But man. It's like th- this you can, is it. You can see the argument Konami had now. <laughs> All right. Also, right? like he's just so far up his. He thinks he's a smart guy. Yeah. Like the guy, who, um, like the character you play, Sam Bridges. Mm-hmm. His whole goal in in the game is like to build bridges between. Yeah. <laughs> com- it's like really, really. This is like oh my lord. It's like, it's like, at least try and be subtle or something. He's like creating links, right? Yeah. To like connect America again. Like your name is your last name is literally Bridges. Mm-hmm. By the way, it's just. <laughs> 
And it's not even it. show, like, There's the way more stuff that's even worse than that. They show the clip of Guess's mom and the, the doctors or something mm-hmm. like that. And she just says something that's just like, like it made me roll my eyes, bro. Oh. Like I'm, listen, I'm not the best writer. And in the she world. also looks in the camera. Like too. right, I'm just Yo. saying. Like she might as well. I'm telling you, I'm telling people she might as well have just looked at the camera and be like, oh, by the way, racism is also bad. Okay? Right? <laughs> just it's like there's just... no. It's. I mean. <sighs> Remember when people were saying, "Listen, this is Kojima Unleashed. Yeah, this is gonna be the best game can ever." Can we put him back? <laughs> huh? Rope him back in. Huh? If this is what we're gonna get, yeah. This is, don't let this genie out the bottle, <laughs> bro. It's just, it's strange. It I, is. Man, I'm, I, I still want to play the game, I mean, but man, I'm not gonna stop it. Go ahead. But man, dude, I, I lost a lot of like hype for it. Yeah. And obviously, listen, play the game, form mm-hmm. your own opinions. But it's just like an overwhelming majority who are saying so and so and this and that and it's just like damn like and there's clips online where they're like this is I'm pro- I'm trying to prove a point mm-hmm. this is what's really happening in the game he there's literally four cutscenes so you could fast travel mm-hmm. you gotta go back to a place yeah to his room to his you gotta go back to his room yeah start a cutscene skip it another cutscene skip it. I don't. I don't want to. He do goes that. to sleep. You gotta I don't skip do that. that. We gotta wake. You gotta skip to his wake up and cutscene. Right. It's just. And then there's a cutscene when you actually touch the damn umbrella, mm-hmm. which is what he uses to travel. Yeah, and apparently like the boss battles aren't very good neither. Yeah, it's apparently it's just a whole spam fest. They're creative, which is what some people really got let down for. Right. Man, it's just like there was so much potential in that reveal trailer. Honestly, though, it doesn't surprise me. At least from, at least from what I've seen. They they never really showed gameplay about it. It's just like the like the reveal trailer was that right. It was I guess a big cinematic. Mm-hmm. But even after that, like all the gameplay they they showed was literally what the whole game is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're right. But man, I like I I haven't really heard too much of the story because there's just been a lot of complaints about the world. Mm-hmm. Like not even story wise or the lore. We're talking about the the gameplay. Well, no, and people the, are saying it's tedious. Yes, and, and that's one of the worst things I think you could call a video game. It's tedious. A right? slog. You know what's tedious? Mm. Real life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't want to sit down and and be and do be doing medial work, menial work, and tedious work for twelve fucking hours to the chance that the game might get better. Right, and um, what do you call it? They actually they do come about the story because yeah. the story, the story. Apparently, right? Like I haven't seen it, but I've seen a bunch of reviews. I've talked to people who played the game mm-hmm. and the story is like it tries to be this very deep you know thinking forward progress and all that but it's like a, a giant slap to the face because it's not this there's nothing subtle in the game <laughs> yeah all right and I mean, it's just like what are you doing huh and i mean listen of course not every story has to be like this sort of complex thing with overlay with overlayered themes and all this shit going on but man I, there was there was just so much going about how Kojima can really tell a story like it's gonna be brilliant it's yeah. gonna be great, and I guess you know when you have all these expectations and you don't hit them mm-hmm. and you don't even come close mm-hmm. and you actually have people turn around on you and saying maybe you should have somebody that ropes you in and keeps you kind of grounded. Yeah, but then you also have his supporters, which is crazy. Like I'm telling you, some of these reviews I read them and then I, I like I read the reviews mm-hmm. and then I see the score. And there's there's like a, there's some missing translation there because some of these <laughs> scores are way too high for what the reviewer had to complain about. Right? It's like the world is tedious. The story is whatever. Nine point five out of ten. Right? I'm and like what? what? <laughs> it's like you gave it so many cons. And, and then, you... then some people go like, "This is what the video game industry needs." No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't need this. No, like I get the creativity about it, right? Yeah. And, and people say that that's what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. That they're talking about they need this type of game to do well because then it proves to the rest of the this thing. You know, the game community that this is the type mm-hmm. of... The, these type of games can sell. And it's like, yeah. no, yeah, it's not. Type of these type of games... Th- this this specific game is going to sell because of Kojima's name. Yeah. Not every true. game that does this is going to have his name and the marketing that Sony put behind him. Right. It has it has the actor, right? It has Kojima. It has yeah. Sony's marketing behind it. It The game should sell well. Yes. Right? And if it doesn't, that's a problem. Then that, yeah. Then and the problem's not going to be... Well, the problem's going to be because the game is just boring. Yeah, right? yeah. But it's not just that. Like It's completely... It's, it's yeah. like the opposite, you know? Like, the marketing's there, right? It look, makes the game look cool. Mm-hmm. It has Kojima's name attached to it. It has all the all makings of, of... Yeah, all the actors, Guillermo del Toro's likenesses in the game. It has all the makings of a game that's going to sell well. Mm-hmm. But just the word of mouth has been like, eh, maybe this is not the game we all expected it to be. Right. <laughs> so, real quick, real quick, right? Mm-hmm. You know how Kojima wants to be a movie director? Yeah. 
how does this this game sell you on that view? I mean, the camera work and all like the cinematography side of the game mm-hmm. looks all right, mm-hmm. but as far as like a completed work, get get yourself an editor or get yourself uh, a writing partner, someone who can really formulate your ideas and someone that could really take your take name. your concepts. Uh, yeah, to me, yeah, also it, to that, me, bro, be, take, take your, your name, name off the goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> Please, come so, on, dude. Because I'm not, I'm not bringing this up because he says that um his studio is mm-hmm. very is soon gonna start making films. Which is so funny. I just <laughs> Kojima Productions could make movies in the future, and Kojima also thinks that the future of everything lies in streaming. Which, yeah, duh, right? <laughs> like, come on, dude. <laughs> That's nothing new. You have four big corporations right now going at it for the streaming <laughs> thing. Ooh, right. Kojima. Right. So forward thinking you are. And, man, I don't know. I just expect a lot from the game. I don't think it's going to hit any of the marks. Especially because the whole, you got to get through a, a certain amount of time for the game to get better. That, that concept just doesn't work for me, bro. It's not even, even slow builds can be entertaining, you know? No, yeah, I shouldn't not. have to slog through the first 10 hours of anything. Of anything. Dude. Even when someone goes, yo, bro, you should read this book. I mean, you just got to get through the first seven chapters. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Like, the the first chapter should hook me. And then from there, we can start moving. Yeah. But, but don't um, make me sit through 10 hours. That's the same reason why I didn't play Final Fantasy 13. The exact same reason. <laughs> I wanted to play Final Fantasy 13. But when people said, get through the first 20 hours, I'm like, fuck that. Are you, what, are you bullshitting me right now? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Crazy, I just, man. I don't want to. And that no, came out no, when I, and that game came out when I had tons of free time. I still didn't want to do that shit. I didn't. I'm not even gonna lie. I hear that, and I also heard it was just corridor after corridor. So I was like, I'm good. <laughs> you know what? My problem is too. What's going it's on? how the gameplay sucks. Yeah. Also, it's like yeah. he made Metal Gear Solid Five. Right. So what which, happened? Which has solid. Gameplay. How the hell you go down from Metal Gear Solid Five? Yeah. Huh? He. I mean, listen. I understand wanting to branch out and try different things. Mm-hmm. But man. See, but. <sighs> I, I, I want. I wanted to know what his idea. Like, I want him to explain. Yeah, his like, idea for the courier thing. All right. See, look, look. My problem is right after this game, mm-hmm. I have no faith in Kojima at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. Right? Because he was given an engine. He was yeah. given an, an amazing engine mm-hmm. by Guerrilla Games. Right? He yeah. was given the marketing, a pretty much a blank check by Sony. Mm-hmm. Then he made his own studio. But mm-hmm. He didn't make his own studio. The Clearly, most somebody had logo right? everybody and yeah. <laughs> in history. And, then he turns this out. Yeah. It's just like, why should I be excited and the next time you announce anything? I mean, I mean and, people, and listen, people are no. going to be. But hmm? no, me yes. personally, I, I'm going to just what? wait and see. For the people that are, mm-hmm. that's good for you because I don't see what the hell you see in it. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, what do you do after <laughs> this? <laughs> and there's people who are just like, listen, this this is just how, how mad men work. He's the guy's a madman. He's a genius. This is what genius looks like. This is what crazy geniuses churn out. No, it's, like, it's not. No, Look at it's Stanley not. Kubrick. Look, exactly. Stanley Kubrick's a I genius, mean, methodical in what he did. <laughs> you know, and like. But then again, Stanley Kubrick also like fucking psychologically traumatizes his actors for these performances. Yeah, but do you see yourself in like 10, 20 years looking back mm-hmm. at Death Stranding as oh lord, this is a pinnacle of video game? No, no. But you do see that with Stanley Kubrick now. When he first released That's his true. stuff, people were like, "Oh, this was bad. This is why." I, I, you know, I think you told me about this recently, mm-hmm. and I also read about how Stanley Kubrick, when he was first coming up and his yeah. movies were coming out, like he was just like getting shit on. Yeah, it's wild to me. Dude. <laughs> like I can't imagine. Well, maybe, maybe we're maybe we're in that situation for Kojima. <laughs> No, see, because this is an, inter- this is an interactive like, this medium, is what changed video games mm-hmm. forever. <laughs> but this is an interactive medium. It does nothing new. That's true. And it, it takes the worst out of almost everything else but, and man. forces you to deal with it. Like the inventory system, the yeah. traveling system. Mm-hmm. It's just like, what are you doing? There's mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay to, to, to borrow concepts from other games. I'm yeah. just saying. You don't, <laughs> always, you don't, have, you don't always have to throw everything Everything doesn't out. have to be original. Right? It's impossible almost to become... To turn out something that's truly, wholly original. And this isn't times where, like, open world games or Breath of the Wild. Right. Fucking it's, Assassin's Creed. You yeah, know, Assassin's you got all these Creed, games Odyssey. That, that do an okay job. No, these are considered, like, the pinnacle yeah, okay. of open oh, yeah. world games. Uh, right. Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. You know? Red Dead. Right, Red Dead Redemption. Just, you have all these then things. You, you want to do something cinematic? Look at God of War, right? Yeah. God of War is okay. It's not, like, you know? anything, but at least they tried something new. 
with the whole single <laughs> shot game. I hate how you always say new with the quote, with the air quotes. Man, but we'll, we'll see what happens, you know. Kojima, uh, I have no faith in him. We'll see. He was given everything, and he produced shit. Well, when you say shit, right? Listen, mm-hmm. I don't want to say it's shit, right? Because mm-hmm. well, there are games that are super shitty, right? Not yet. But there's expectations there. Yes, and, and he, he produced shit. And I'm gonna say, uh, yeah. Uh, no, listen, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, say he, shit, I'm gonna say no. he produced shit because he was literally given everything. He was giving, you know, he, there was there is no reason why he should have failed. I'm just saying, listen, if you're gonna attach your name to everything, mm-hmm. you're that you're the fucking director, you're like the gameplay director, mm-hmm. you're the fucking storyboard artist, the writer, all this, all that. Listen, if you're gonna attach your name this to everything, on you. and exactly right. Thank by the way, thanks for cutting off the fucking wind beneath my wings. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> when, when it just cut me off. My bad, but yeah, like <laughs> it's just yeah, I'm not, no, I'm just like no, honestly, I'm you right shouldn't have failed. This this is to me, this is just a complete disaster. Yeah. Because he shouldn't have failed. That's it. I mean, the game's, the game's still going to sell. Obviously, it's his it's first game. Sell. It's a right. solid game. Ch- mass that's media? The, that's his problem. The problem mm-hmm. is that it's a solid game. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't have been solid. I'm just... That no, was what... No, no, listen. With everything he got, it should not have been solid. That engine's amazing. Yeah. They got the marketing push. Mm-hmm. They got... got he the he even got help from Guerrilla you Games. Got the actors, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got the actors. That's money. So, <laughs> Sony <laughs> sent the, their own studio. Even... Even um one of the people from Sony's own studio was like, I cannot believe the freedom that Sony gave Kojima. And that's what happened. Yeah. He produced you, he produced you, you need you need somebody like this. You just need it. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, anyway, we're just, we're just gonna move on from this, right? Uh I wanna give a quick because uh, this is awesome, right? Because Bayonetta turned ten years old on October twenty ninth, and that's awesome, dude. Bayonetta three is coming out soonish, hopefully. Hopefully, right? Because we, well, when was the last time we saw anything about Bayonetta three? Was when they announced it, right? I think so. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that's, I think <laughs> that's, that's it. Listen, give us Bayonetta three. Uh, Camilla's talking about it on Twitter, saying that he's very happy that the fans have loved the franchise. Well, yes, I love the franchise. Give me Bayonetta three so I can love it some more. God damn it! I mean, they were also working on that Astro Chain game, so. Oh yeah, which is. By the way, a, a very good game. <laughs> it is. I really enjoyed it. All right. So, of course, we got to talk about it, bro. BlizzCon just happened. Oh, no. man. J. Allen Brat came out to, I mean, obviously, I'm not disappointed. To Marks. He came out to Marks. Not, not I'm else. not disappointed. It's Marks. I was hoping, but I was, I'm not disappointed. I, 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 I knew the people that, that sh- I mean, of course, listen, you're, you're not going to spend... And two hundred something dollars, two hundred plus dollars, to go fucking boo and and like not have fun. I get it, right? I have, because <laughs> you're that fucking you're that type of person. <laughs> and, and there needs to be more people like that, though. This, this man buys New York Giants tickets just to boo the Giants. <laughs> I do. I I love Eli though. Ah, Eli man. for life. Eli fan for life. <laughs> Eli fan for life. Yes. Old school. Mm? <laughs> yeah, old school. Listen, Eli, what he did for New York. Ultimate respect. That's hey, it. Two there's, Super Bowls, there's, there's nothing that he can ever do to make me hate him unless he turns out to be like a rapist, homophobe. Yeah, unless he turns out to be like some fucking racist monster. Yeah. Yeah. But Eli, yo, but yeah. Eli, if I ever see Eli, he's, he's getting a drink from me. Coke. <laughs> Coke, go. Yes. Coca Cola, by the way, guys. Listen, when he says Coke, he's not talking about drugs. We're not that bold on this fucking podcast, right. okay? But BlizzCon came and went. There were some awesome announcements, if you want I me, mean, awesome announcements, right? Diablo Overwatch 4, 2. Overwatch 2, World of Warcraft, Shadowlands, Hearthstone's Descent of Dragons, all of this, whatever, I don't care. J. Allen Brack came out to thunderous applause, and he gave, uh, honestly, I forgive the man. He gave a statement. Yeah, he gave an apology. No, he gave he a said, st- listen, guys, I'm sorry. And I was like, fuck it, yeah, all right, now let's talk about Overwatch 2. And that's the news for the, <laughs> that's the, news for the week, guys. And that is my apology, guys. <laughs> Yo, but how you texted me this shit, bro, right? And you were like, I think he just dropped the most shittiest apology ever. And I was like, man, this this man is a man with a jaded heart, right? I saw the transcript. I didn't even see the speech. You didn't even see the no. So to me, that's actually worse. It's crazy because you sent me the video, yeah. And I was like, wow, this man came out and said nothing. Right. It was a nothing apology. Nothing, dude. If you guys ever want to see what a nothing apology is, just look up Fuck that yeah, video. Look at that. Because right? it is ridiculous. Because like, he, he, wow. 
I've never seen somebody try so fucking hard, bro, to to apologize and not apologize at the same time. This man was was fucking sidestepping and walking over the issues, saying, "Hey, listen, I'm sorry. Listen, I fucked up." What did he do? What did he? What did he do? Yeah, the the guy from Blizzard. Oh, he had to apologize because yeah. <laughs> he's he sure as hell wasn't apologizing for Blitz Chung, right? It, it can't be. He never brought up the name. Never <laughs> brought up China. He never brought up a band. Bring up yo. He didn't bring up nothing. He just said, "Listen." It, All he said was, "We're sorry." We're sorry. You guys know what we're talking about. Come on. No, he you didn't know, even say that. Yo, he didn't even. No, I know, but I'm saying he might as well fucking have winked and nudged that our direction and be like, "You guys know what I'm talking Honestly, about." Honestly, that would have been more. That would have been better than what we got. But not even that, no, bro. He didn't. Uh, for all we know, he apologized it. for just like coming in late this morning. Right. That apology could work for anything, dude. That's gonna be my. That's gonna be my new apology. Every time yeah. I'm sorry for something, I'm just gonna send that video to somebody. <laughs> Next time I'm late to work, bro, <laughs> I'm gonna just. <laughs> I'm gonna link them to that, that video. apology. Yeah. Jeez, the wow. I like, take a full accountability. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What are you taking accountability for, bro? Because I sure as hell don't know what it is. God, and you know this fucking asshole. Comes out and he was like, "By the way, I'm not reversing the ban, right? We're not gonna reverse the ban. We're it's just listen. We did what we did. We reduced the sentence. We gave the man his money. We're moving on from the from the thing. But it's just like, bro, you're missing the fucking point. You're literally bending to a fucking a, a homicidal regime here for a couple of for a couple of bucks for Hearthstone. Are you kidding me? They make like five point two percent of their money from China or something like that." This isn't even that much. I mean, wait, really? Yeah. No, there's no... Those are, those okay. are an article they came up today. I gotta find that article, bro. There's yeah. no way you're... Bro, there's no fucking way, dude. Either that or it increased by 5.2%. But I think it said... Because from the quick glimpse that I did on the article... Because mm-hmm. I'm actually blanking on it right now. Yeah. It said it doubled their profits. Mm. And then it had a 5.2% next to it. So All it's gotta right, be well, one of the other. I'll definitely double check at the end. Yeah. <laughs> but there's no way they're they're... Doing this for fucking five point two percent of their yearly income. It, no, I mean, it depends on what they were doing last year. If they were doing literally nothing, then they weren't making money from China. But if they started really aggressively push China this year, then yeah, I can see five point two being, you know. And you know, like, I I don't want to say right mm-hmm. that they announced all these games to kind of like drown out the noise. Of uh, what's been going on with them? Yeah, it worked though. Yeah, <laughs> it worked because tools and I, marks. What, what did I text you immediately when I found out the news? Yeah, I'm back in. Yeah, you, you texted <laughs> me. I was like, I know it was something stupid, but yeah, you back then. No, but that was just me making fun of how people were gonna react. Yeah, because that and Twitter. Because I went to look at Twitter and I completely regret it. <laughs> Holy boy, I was but, like, no. But Jay yeah. Allen Breckman, go fuck yourself, bro. What a shitty apology. Mm-hmm. It and what honestly, this just is, they get. I mean, at this point, I I I saw his apology and I prefer the "I'm sorry you got mad" apology now. Yeah, right. Well, I'm sorry you at got least mad. Then you acknowledge what you did. Yeah, because now you're now you're talking now you're talking about the issue. Yeah, but you but like, man, geez. but yeah, dude, they were just like, hey, I I apologize for yeah. the things and that he, happened. Then he uh, he tried to I end it with that. we try to bring everybody together. Shut the fuck up. I mean, no, Come you on. don't get the fuck out. This yeah. is bullshit, man. Like if you did, you would not have banned him. And then you they released get... another statement afterwards saying because it had nothing to do with the game. Yeah, that's it's just like, what? That, that's he. That's what he said. He was talking to PC Gamer, I think, and he was talking about listen. The the guy went down a road that we don't want to go because people are going to use our platform to sh- to talk about things and that we don't want them to talk about because we just want to focus on the game. Yeah, that's like an an NFL move right there. That's like <laughs> what what happened to Kaepernick, bro? Like we're talking about. A literal fascist regime murdering civilians, and you're telling me what that it offends you guys when somebody brings it up because you you're somehow tied to, to China. I don't know, man. It's, it's By crazy. the way, yeah. and it's just crazy. The NFL thing you're talking about does have nothing to do with China. It's Kaepernick taking the knee. No, but I'm saying like no, but in case in case people think what the hell does the NFL have to do with China? Hmm. Hmm. Because you com- compare now, okay. It's just Kaepernick taking a knee and people found that offensive. And then During the NFL the, was yeah. trying to, you know. The NFL was like, this is not the stage for you to do your political statements. Exactly. And that's that's literally what Blizzard's doing right now. It was bullshit then. It's bullshit now. It is. It's fucking stupid. It's ridiculous, honestly. It's got, that's got to be the worst apology ever, man. <sighs> man, like, I, and I was, I was waiting for this moment, too. 
I was like, what the fuck Honestly, are they going to do? I respect the little kid who was jumping mm-hmm. during the, when they were questioning audiences. The little yeah. kid just started jumping up saying, free China. Yeah, free Hong Amazing Kong. Amazing little kid. Yeah, shout, shout out to that kid, bro. Mm-hmm. But, fuck Blizzard. Yeah, fuck Blizzard. You gonna, Especially you gonna the CEO. Games? No. No? No. And as much as I like yeah. Diablo 3 yeah, I'm just and Diablo 4, <laughs> I'm just not going to buy it. Out of just like standing morals. Like yo, you have like so like you have such strong morals compared to me, bro. I'm <laughs> I'm such a weak man. It, yeah, but, um, let's put it like this, right? I but haven't I have not bought a Diablo Madden. Game. I haven't bought an EA <laughs> game actually since 2009. Yeah, but you know what I might buy? Mm. NCAA 2022. That's for sure. But you know they're not the only ones who are gonna make it though. They can't get that contract. It's every individual player. Well, that's true, right? So that Ooh. means anybody can make their yeah. own. You know, what I like to say? NCAA Blitz. NCAA Blitz. Buy that. Yeah, bring that back, man. Bring <laughs> bring back the fucking Blitz franchise. Blitz the league. And Blitz two. Awesome, awesome game. game. <laughs> those those games are dope as shit. Also, I still love the uh, Michael Mexico. Funny <laughs> in jail that you play him in jail. <laughs> you play Michael Vick in jail. <laughs> it's a funny. Oh, oh I I tore his like. <laughs> like you, yo, I played I, I played like that game that like eight up. times. Just to see what what other body part of his I can tear. Like I tore his scrotum in one game. Oh my god, dude! The next one, his, his so ACL. Ah, I don't want to have his this conversation. Was Diablo Four. It's not gonna have any offline play. It's gonna have only online. You got to be connected online, which is again bullshit. It's, god, why? No, it's why not coming to mobile. This, That's why for sure. Why do DRMs have to be a thing, dude? Why? Piracy? What do they get? What do they get? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't play on PC. I don't know what the hell DRM is. What? DRM is what no, you I, I know what it is. I'm just so joking. why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying, like, as a PC player, uh, yeah. I don't deal with DRM like that, I guess. Yeah. Well, either way, listen. But I that's wanna... a, like, I see the complaints, yes. I understand the complaints of why people do that. <laughs> and honestly, being on... You know, especially especially because you have to remember, Diablo 3, when it first came out, also was only online. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. And people right? were and losing people... their connections. People because were the servers were getting hammered. Yeah, because the servers <laughs> sucked. And again, once again, these companies have to. Blizzard is still going to sell a shit ton of Diablo games. Yes. But this this is service gonna is still going to take a hit. Huh? There's no way, dude. There's no way that it doesn't play at all all night because I just couldn't get in. That if happened. it happens to something as huge as Modern Warfare, it's probably going to happen to fucking Blizzard, which Activision Blizzard is. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, they're the same company. It's, it's going to happen. That's what I'm saying. What you call it? I know that happened to me. I, I've been through that experience. I forgot what game it happened to me on. Fucking sucks, man. But yeah, it sucks when you buy the game and you can't get into the servers. Stop. What? I paid Yo. sixty dollars to wait three hours to play a game. Shut it's not even up. when I tried. I actually stayed up like six hours <laughs> after it launched to try and play it, and then I never. I fell asleep. Yo, at like you know what your your problem is that, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, your problem, bro, is that you you sink time into something, right? Like. Listen, I've already waited an hour to play this fucking game. Now I gotta know how fucked up the situation is. I don't care if I have to wait six hours in front of a goddamn TV. Just and j- just for accuracy's sake. I don't even know why you do it for. Because mm-hmm. you're crazy, maybe. But Maybe. But yes, I like to mark down when the game actually launches for me. <laughs> for you. Cause just, ha- just because I have downloaded the game and it's up and it's up to play. Yeah. Quotes, quotes. <laughs> I Which means see. like yo, and some of these people are like yo, I'm in. But when they say they're in, that means they they can only like you know how some games have press A yeah. to start. They can press A. They yeah. get to that screen where it says press A to start. That's what they mean by getting. I know Anthem also had a horrible launch. Anthem had a stupid launch, bro. Yeah, because uh, the low it would you get an infinite loading screen. Mm-hmm. It happened in the beta and the main. Yeah, game. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get how these companies don't. Just rent out some distance. Like, I've seen companies do that. <laughs> well, like, rent out servers? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah. No, that's cool. Get yeah. out of here. No, no way that's a thing. But it's, it's like, I guess, the investment into it. Because, I mean, mm. the server's only going to take this hit for this day. Oh, okay. And I guess so... they prefer to just go with the six-hour downtime for some people. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, just fuck us, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we paid for your game, waiting for it to launch. We prepaid, actually. Mm. Wait for it to launch. But you know what? Forget about it. Don't worry. <laughs> We're all happy we can't play. Yeah. I'm glad I wasted $60 to wait six hours. I haven't played an online only. I haven't even played an online only game like that for a while. Yeah. It's been I'm some trying time. to think about what online. Anthem. Anthem was, I think, was the last online game yeah, like that. I think it might be. Oh, Division 2, actually. 
No, actually, because we, when we got Division 2, we still ain't played for, like, the first two days. That's true. But we did try it, though. We, <laughs> we did try it when it first came out, and it we crashed. We tried streaming it, yeah. <laughs> just, it just kept crashing. <laughs> and lastly, have Henry, Ca- Henry Cavill. Let me get his name right. Henry Cavill is saving the, the world because Netflix dropped the first trailer for the Witcher TV series. And my God, bro, Gerald and Henry Cavill looks amazing. I have all the faith in the world. December 20th. Don't talk to me. Don't bother me. That's going to be my day where I get to watch a whole season's worth. I don't know. The Witcher. It looks boring. And guess what? It looks boring. Guess what? It looks boring. You're going to be sitting right there with me, bro. Uh, oh, everybody's going to be there to watch that shit. Can you at least bring popcorn? Yeah, I'll bring popcorn. All right. And cool. the Valentina. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some lime. You know, if I'm feeling crazy, crazy, I'll put a little bit of lime in my fucking popcorn. With Actually, the you know what? Buy some chicharrones. on this. I'll make them. <laughs> you have to buy them. I'll make them. You I'll drop by, him? yeah. I'll drop by and make him. Sit and watch this boring ass show. <laughs> watch this boring ass show, man. Why don't you? Why don't you have any faith in him, man? The showrunner not... seems pretty dope. Uh, first you know, of all, Henry hate... Cavill's a huge fan he of the Witcher games. Of the, he dropped out of he dropped out of DC. Oh, what a segue! Well, it's not really a segue, but Joker is like the highest grossing R-rated film of all time. Mm-hmm. And that I saw the movie, mm-hmm. solid movie. Listen, jo- Joaquin Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix mm-hmm. kills it, bro. I mean, but then again, he's a great actor. He's okay. Yeah. But the uh, the guy who wrote the movie, Todd Phillips, mm-hmm. he says this might not be the actual Joker, but rather the guy who inspires the future Joker. Because, I mean, I can't even talk to you because the you haven't seen the movie now, so don't want to spoil care. it. I honestly don't care. Well, I'm not going to spoil a great movie. It's a great movie. I finally had some time to actually sit on it and think about it. Mm-hmm. Good movie. All right, that's good for you. Is it because we live in a society? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! It's because Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I believe that. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I have nothing else to say. That's it. That's gonna be all for the news. Let's talk about some games that we've been. No, playing. hold up. Uh, the clear it up thing. Oh yes, the clear it up. Uh, Market Watch did say Activision Blizzard derives five point two percent of its total revenue from mainland China, and uh, the company reported an annual revenue of seven point two six billion dollars in twenty eighteen. Which I'm not a math wizard, nor am I gonna attempt to try to make that. <laughs> I, if you ask me, it's probably like a thousand dollars, maybe. But that's only Wait if they me. ask you. <laughs> it's only if they ask me. Yeah, I get it. Someone's gonna be like, "This guy thinks a thousand is five point two percent of seven point twenty eight billion dollars," <laughs> and he answers yes because yes, I does. don't care. All right, <laughs> he don't care enough to do the math. That's what he's trying to say. He just sees the percentage, like five point two. Of seven point something billion, <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot. It, I mean, it's a it drop. might be. I but, mean, it uh, might be, but it compared to everything else, it's a drop in the compared bucket. to the rest of ninety four percent. Probably doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> but fuck Blizzard. Let's talk about some games that we've been playing, bro. So, so let me ask you, bro. Officially, mm-hmm. what have you been playing recently? Smite. 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 I got back oh, into okay. Smite. You got back into Smite. Yes, and I'm not gonna lie, I love Smite. I put so many hours into Smite. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I put so many hours into Smite. Yeah, and I've actually done the. I've got. I bought some skins for Smite, mm-hmm. but honestly, it's because I've put like oh maybe over a thousand hours into Smite. Mm-hmm. Maybe more. Maybe more. Mm-hmm. Honestly, dude. Once again, just to say it again, if a game and in, in, if you get so much enjoyment from a game, yeah. it's okay to spend money on it. Okay, yeah, but, I mean, if it's I, a free to play game, it's okay to listen, spend money. On it. I'm nowhere near the seventy four thousand. Don't spend one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars <laughs> on a fucking Gundam game. Yeah, okay? like, I'm nowhere near that. Like I, I don't God, think I, I don't. Yeah, I'll probably spend maybe a hundred bucks. Okay, all right, and that's like cumulatively. I was gonna say over four years. I was gonna say well, you're not close to that. Well, I, I fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's probably been like a hundred, maybe. Like, there's definitely no way I've been over 200. Because I, I check my statements <laughs> for anything. <laughs> I check my statements you anytime like I buy it, and I have a little record book. But, yeah. You sound like an addict, dude. <laughs> no, it's, I actually keep it marked down. <laughs> yeah. All right. Your transaction register is where you keep yeah. it marked down? Hell, yeah. And I would write everything down, especially when oh, I buy stuff God. online like that, so I can know <laughs> when to stop myself. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, right now there's no skins that I want, mm-hmm. and er, like I'm, I'm like so old into the game, mm-hmm. like there's nothing, there's no nothing I really want to pay for right now. What do you mean you're so old? Yeah, like I really got the skins for the characters that I like, and even oh, if okay. the new skins that have come got out, mm-hmm. don't really care for them. Some of them are like alright, but I already use the god anyway. Usually, if I want to get a skin that I really like, it's for a god I don't use that often. Mm-hmm. 
because the skin is what's gonna make me play with the player. God, that, 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 you. no, it's not even that. It's like honestly, visually, I just don't like some of the characters. But some yeah. of the characters are good. Yeah. That even their skin, like um, Mercury. Uh, Mercury to me in the game did not know how to play with him, mm-hmm. but. I got his um little boxer skin. It was amazing. Hmm. And I was like, yo, I'm going to play with Mercury. You see the guy with the like the Trojan helmet? Yeah. He's a yeah, he looks stupid. Yeah. But his boxing skin was amazing. I was like, yo, I yeah. want to play with this guy. Uh-huh. I'm going to get good with the guy. And I'm pretty good, okay, good with it. And then um, you got like Ganesh. Uh-huh. But I always knew I was going to like Ganesh, a little elephant guy. But he has this disco thing that looks like one of those dudes from God, the band. so cool, man. Like, I hate Smite, mm-hmm. right? And... When you were using the skin, I stopped by and I sat down. Like, yo, what are you? What is this? What are, what are you playing? Because <laughs> he, he looks cool. Yeah, he looks like one of those dudes from that band. I, I would never, I would never forget. Daft Punk. It. There you go. Yeah, it looks like one of the characters from Daft. I don't Punk. know why I got so excited that I knew that and you didn't. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, but Smite, what is it? Uh, it's a uh, MOBA. It's a MOBA game. Yeah. When are you gonna go MLG? Never. 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 When are you gonna start playing ranked? Maybe at some point in my life. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after what, like five years of practice, you might finally yes. <laughs> join ranked. But I only play arena and smite, honestly, because I've like I've th- I've played other modes. Mm-hmm. Don't enjoy them as much, mm. mostly because they take forever. Yeah, you were telling mm. me uh, that arena is the short version of smite. Pretty That's much a short mode. I think the only other one that might be as short as it would be joust, which is just three on three in a single wing. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's a single wing, so. Not, there's not much you can do within that <laughs> it's space. pretty much like an, an elongated arena <laughs> yeah. you know but yeah I mean arena takes me like what 15-20 minutes max mm-hmm. to finish the game yeah. the 20 minutes being max and then I've tried all the other games and they take me like 30 Four. to like 50 minutes and I'm e- like man. no if I'm gonna play the game I don't wanna just play the one game for the next hour right well what do you say about people that, that go well I mean you might play my record for three hours straight. It's why never can't, the why same can't you thing. do that and you can't play an hour of Smite, bro? Because it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. In <laughs> like Kart, all, listen, I could play Mario Kart for an hour, but I could play like 80 different stages with like <laughs> 70. Okay? Yeah. Not, I mean, Smite, even though it's always going to be Waluigi, but... Well, for you. But in Smite, it's going to be the one character that I have to wait, build up, and hopefully we can end this game at some time. <laughs> And I don't know, I'm good. Like after a while, I just don't want to keep playing the game. Yeah, I'm completely convinced that the, uh, what's it called, the what? three lane style. Oh, oh, um, oh Lord, I forget. Arena. No, that's no, arena. no arenas. Uh, but either way, I'm convinced that though that that mode are just people trying to find the fastest way to to, to beat each other. I don't know. That takes forever for me. Even I be seen online like during the smite. League pro play, and it yeah. still takes a while. I yeah. mean, I like I, I like watching it though. Like before, honestly, Smite it, I, Smite is probably the game that got me into esports like that. Mm-hmm. Because to me, Smite is just fun to watch. Yeah. But it also helped me understand like um, Dota other two, games. like and League like of Legends. Low, yeah. Dota two. Yeah, before like other cause, games. Yeah, because I've had people that tell me, "Oh, you should watch this game. You know, it's esports. It's gonna be awesome." To mm-hmm. me, esports was just shooting for a while. Right, <laughs> for CS a long go, time it was, yeah. yeah. CSGO, CSGO, Halo, Halo. Call of Duty, Gears, yeah. and uh, fighting games. Now I've gotten oh, into yeah. like esports sure. fighting games. I mean, fighting games have always been around. Yeah, now. but like League and Dota, those are the ones that took me forever to get into. Starcraft and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, but like, cause I didn't understand them, and I don't play the game in God, at all. Man, I, I feel like the concepts them. are. I mean, it's a grand concept, though. To be honest with you, try to explain a mobile game right now. You can't. <laughs> it's like, it's just either you. To somebody either who's right never now, played a mobile know game, what a mobile is. Yeah, or you don't. And honestly, you're probably never going to learn if you don't already know what a mobile game is. But like to me, Smite did the right job. You know, It taught me what a mobile is. It taught me how to play a mobile. It taught me to understand what like cooldowns, you know, CC, all that is. Movement. Like, it takes me to understand the percentages now. Like, how to D- build. DP, DPMs or whatever. DPS, you know. DPS damage per second yeah. or whatever. Yeah. A carry. You know, now I now understand the vernacular that they use in the broadcasting. Yeah. So, yeah, man, Smite. Right there. First mobile game. Man, Smite guys, I don't know, man. It's just not. A, it's not a game for me. When you play, you make it look cool. But I played as uh, Scylla, yeah. Scylla, and that guy I got bodied like thirty times in one match. Yeah, because you, like, you, you, you was not playing her correctly. That's the thing, though. Ah, get out of here. You see, I oh my god, well fuck me. I'm sorry. I, well, I yeah, hate people can't... like you. You go, 
Man, people like you online will always be like, wait, you're not even using the character right. That's why you're not getting so much enjoyment. Yeah, like, well, right, first of all, we play to, it. I'm trying to murk this dude. Like, that's all I'm trying to do. Like, Arena, I think, is where, like, a class you can deal with the mm-hmm. basic thing of a class is. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. no matter how you build it, they're still gonna you're still going to see their fault in that class. And Scylla's mm-hmm. a mage. You can't get in the front lines with her. You think you're about to start killing everybody? Yeah, I did. I did keep going, just walking in there. Yeah, see, but like when you used um, what you call it, all or Odin. See, when you used Odin, you went crazy because he played for your play style. Yeah. Also, uh, Odin and uh, Zeus, right? They have oh, like yeah, that, that wombo combo. <laughs> that wombo combo. In arena, if I get this crazy, you're gonna lose that match ten out of ten times. Yeah. I mean, it's listen. I'm bad at smite. <laughs> But even I won a couple of games because we got that yeah. Odin Zeus combo going. Yeah, his, his thing, his ultimate, Odin's ultimate comes out in like 30 seconds. I like Fenrir too. So you can just spam the shit out of it. Fenrir is awesome. I can't play with him. I don't know. Like, Assassins? What's going on with class. Loki though? I hate I hear, I hear, no, I hear Loki's it. Like, uh, stop events. No. <laughs> and just, and just stop. We lost every smite listener ever. <laughs> this man compliment the Loki. Fuck this man. No, fuck you. You know what we've been playing? Mm. Not even I. What we've been playing. What? Summer Sweetheart. Holy shit. I can finally talk about this game <laughs> without just like laughing at it. Summer Sweetheart, in case you I'm guys still don't laughing know, at it. I, I, just, I don't even know how to explain what type of game Summer Sweetheart is. Is it a visual? I, is, I guess I'll go with a visual novel, right? In the most purest of sense, I guess, because <laughs> you're watching. There's cutscenes. I mean, there are cutscenes. That are acted live. Yeah. Live cutscenes. This live. Is, and we're talking about like real people. Yeah. This, live. This actors. is like uh, the Sega CD. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, I forgot that <laughs> I forgot the plumbers name of the... don't wear ties. Uh, what is it like? Uh, <laughs> plumbers house... don't wear ties. <laughs> well, actually, iconic, you know what? That is iconic, a great comparison. There's an iconic Sega game out there, and you don't remember that game, but you fucking remember plumbers don't wear ties. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's it, honestly like thinking about it, it was just pure coincidence. That's probably the best comparison to this game. It might, it might be. Because, you know, in Plumber's Number Size, you got the whole menu thing, the selection, and then something plays out. Yeah. Same thing in Summer Sweetheart. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I just got to call on my iPad, Meanie. But I digress, bro. Um, This game, dude, it's a visual novel. Uh, it has so many typos. It's a dating sim, right? It's a dating simulator. Yes, it's a dating simulator visual novel with live action scenes in it. It's... Has a ton of typos and it's a joy to play with a group of people. <laughs> oh my god, it is the typos on that are crazy because in one sentence they spell the thing right, but in the very next sentence it's spelled wrong. It's like, it's like how does that happen? <laughs> who's editing this for you who's guys? Exactly. Like the editors really just do not care, bro. No, nah. and, and it's not like... and it's not not just typos. There's like missing space, extra space, you know. So it'll be like word, space, 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 next word, yeah. space. There's double spaces. Right. There's spaces after, uh, like, the, the big comma things. I don't even know what the fuck they're called. Mm-hmm. But, apostrophe? You know, apo- yeah, there's space. There's double spaces after apostrophes. Yeah. There's uh, just fucking poorly worded sentences. And the game is just weird, bro. They yeah. give you, First like, some all, girl got shot in the game, dude. Right. And honestly, I want to see what happens had you beaten the little button press. Hey. Would you have taken the shot? Nah, Would you have pushed her out the way? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> also, right? I don't think the game ever thought that ahead, honestly. <laughs> All right, so look, listen, right? So mm-hmm. the like the female people you're trying to, I guess, date, right? Yeah. They're real people. <laughs> yes, they are yeah. real people. <laughs> They're played by real actresses or voice, mo- voice, no, voice whatever. Actresses. Let's, yeah. let's, let's call them actresses. Right? Yeah. But your character, what's your character? Your character's a, ch- a chibi man. <laughs> In the real world, okay, that's what he is, and I, I, it's so weird. It is so cause, weird because you're the only cat cartoon thing there. Yeah, you and Every, the tools that you no, use. No, I mean, you're right. You're literally the only cartoon thing there. Yeah, because and and what you use as workout or whatever. Any actually anything you actually interact with, right, is a cartoon like a desk. Yeah, but like the trainers. background or actual pictures. Right. Just blurred to hell. Just blurred to hell because I, I guess they couldn't copyright or they couldn't get the rights to use. Like, bro. That's the thing, though. Like, if I, you're I, making this type of game, I'll just go out there and shoot stuff myself. Just oh, here's a picture. Exactly. Dude. Bam. Now you can use a high quality background for this. It's like they just went on Shutterstock and just like did not care. Like, whatever. Let's just get a picture just take with whatever, trees in the background. Honestly, though, it doesn't surprise it me, right? Yeah. 
because they also used music from Falcom games. Really? Yes. I did not know this. No, that that is a thing that happened, mm-hmm. and it's because apparently they had a misunderstanding. Because Falcom has like a free use, you can use our music for free. Yeah. As long as it's not a commercial thing. Okay, and they, well, for whoever, I don't know. It must be the fucking translators give relaying this news back to them. Right. Because they use the music. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, I'm still not sure what happened. Yeah. I don't play Falcon games like that, so I don't know the music. This is a fascinating game. This is just a hilarious game. I think game. this might be my game of the year. Just out of, just from a pure joy yeah. standpoint. And I'm talking about joy, like, I'm laughing at this game. Yeah. I just, I don't think I've gotten any anywhere as much joy. Right. The, um, there's from anything there's like 10 girls, 11, 12. I think 10. Yeah. You're missing one because you can't choose her. Yeah. Because at the beginning of the game, you have to choose two girls, between two girls. Yeah. And, and I you chose, chose the weird one. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with her. You chose the girl with the biggest hips. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's what hey, you, listen, man, you got the stream. It's well, on the yeah, stream. Yeah, just leave it on the stream. Like it doesn't. Not everything from the stream has to make its way here. And she's a cat girl. Well, okay. By the way, he's just saying she's a cat girl. It's not the reason why I chose her. No, yeah, yeah, she's a cat girl. Which is like at first I thought it was. It was just. It's just a whole hilarious. Wait, thing. You guys gotta watch it because she has a bio about how she became a cat girl, <laughs> and it's just stupid hilarious. And her backstory is tragic. Her her aunt left her. To find her father, who left them. Yeah, uh, they. So far, what we've got from what we've gotten is yes. Um, the landlady is apparently her mom. I think no, it is her mom. And her mom, in the game, it tells you that her mom, she left her to go. Um, to go. No, because of a job, mm-hmm. actually. But then later on in the game, they say that she left her to go look for her father. <laughs> Yo, this game is wild, man, and I lo- I've loved every single second of it. I can't wait to stream it again, which we are because, once again, it is the month of November. Mm -hmm. When we play funny, not even funny, just like dating simulators and anime games and maybe just a little bit of ecchi. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, technically what you're playing right now (laughs) is... Too spicy for you. It would actually fit there. Because you see her, like, taking her clothes off. They they don't really show anything, actually. Yeah, I mean, they don't, but it's just... Obviously, they show cleavage. A little strange as well. It's it's a little strange, man. The so game wait, strange. do you have a bias? Do I have a bias? Yes. Uh, the girl that I'm currently pursuing, I don't remember her name. Sugi something. It's like Kubayashi something. Co- something? I, uh, I don't know. I don't want to sit here and try to remember these things with you. <laughs> <laughs> and also, ask me who my favorite girl is. Don't ask me what my bias is. Don't you still that. answer it though. Don't do that, man. But you answer it. The Japanese game. Neon. That's mine. Okay, I'm not even gonna touch that. Subject. From twice. I'm not. I'm not touching that. That's my bias. From twice. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! G Hill, by the way. But let's let's move on, bro. This is the month of November, uh, guys. Tune in. Yes. I think that's gonna be it from us, though. Yes. Today. It, it's hilarious. Um, I'm gonna see if we can get actually because um, later this month you'll actually see the third person who's coming mm-hmm. into our group. Ah uh, yes, yes. And I want to see if they if they want to talk on the. It's gonna be uh. If they want to talk on the podcast for a bit, maybe introduce themselves, or if they want to do the first thing being. And what we're doing later on. Yeah. But they will be here in two weeks. It's going to be quite the experience. It's going to be amazing. I mean, you, you're, you're making it sound like you're shipping them in from somewhere, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, but when it gets here, uh, listen, I, we Amazon primed in a third employee. <laughs> <laughs> it was on eBay. It was cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, listen, I think that's going to be it from us here at the Applesauce Podcast. You guys already know. Like, comment, subscribe. Fuck with us, man. We <laughs> like you. We love you. Thank you so much. Bye. The Applesauce Podcast is a Studio 149 production. It is written by Victor Suarez, edited and produced by Mr. Lightman, and made possible by listeners like you. Thank you.